Coming up is an intense circuit training workout that you can do at home with dumbbells. You'll sculpt your upper body, lower body, and core in this full body strength training workout that will leave you stronger than when you started. All you need is a set of moderate dumbbells and a mat. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, let's get started with a warm up. Let's bring those feet nice and wide. Two big deep breaths to start. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. Let's bring those feet about shoulder distance apart. Big arm circles. We have three blocks of work coming your way. Four exercises per block where we spend 45 seconds doing each move with a 15 second rest. Let's go ahead and reverse that arm circle. The four moves that we do in each block, we repeat a total of two times. When we get to the third block, we're gonna combine the moves from block one and combine the block the moves from block two and just go through an entire circuit doing full body exercises. Let's go ahead and go into some good mornings. Feet shoulder distance, hands behind the ears, elbows wide. Hinge those hips back like you are pushing a door with your booty and then press those hips forward. I'll show you side profile as well. Notice that my knees are nice and soft and I'm focusing on feeling the stretch along my hamstrings, back of the legs, and the glutes. Keep your core nice and tight and keep your posture tall as well. Now, you will only need moderate dumbbells. You can maybe go heavier or lighter on a few different exercises, but if you only have one set of dumbbells at home, that is totally okay. From here, we're gonna go into wide squats, so feet nice and wide, heels and toes out, hands to the heart as you squat down, trying to get as low as you can. Now, we are not gonna be focusing on cardio, but your heart rate is gonna come up simply just because we are doing total body movements where we are targeting different muscle groups all at the same time. So we'll get shoulders, arms, legs, and that's gonna just naturally intensify the workout and help you get a nice sweat going. Let's go ahead and go into side body reaches. As you reach your hand up and over, Really think about opening up that chest, stretching out the side body, feeling that lengthening. And let's go ahead and reverse, other way. As always, I provide options, so in case you can't do an exercise, I'll try to find some kind of variation that makes it just a little bit less challenging. From here, we'll go into an inchworm. So drop the chin, round the spine, walk those hands out to your plank position. Hold it for a quick second, and then walk those hands back to the toes, roll on up one vertebrae at a time. We'll do that again. Feel free to take your time on this one. Slow it down, connect to the core, focus on your posture, focus on your form. And then we're gonna go one more, all the way down. Plank it out, and then hold your plank for a quick second. From here, pike those hips up, downward facing dog. Press the heels down towards the floor, stretch out those calves. Come back to your high plank. Let's do that again. All the way up and down. Keep going. This should feel so good, especially if you're just getting this done first thing in the morning or in the middle of the day and you've been sitting down in your chair. Such a great stretch to get started with. We're gonna go one more and then we'll start our first exercise. Go ahead and walk your hands back to your toes, roll up to the stand. And we're gonna start off with a single arm full thruster. So grab your moderate dumbbell. It's gonna be loaded on one side, feet shoulder distance apart. Hand comes out to support and keep your upper body square. Drop it down into a squat, power up, and bring that dumbbell up overhead, bicep right next to the ear, and then reload back at the shoulder. We'll do 22 seconds on one side and then switch. Three, two, one, time starts. Now notice how it's one fluid motion from bottom to top. This is considered a power move, which means as soon as I stand up, I'm focusing on thrusting my hips forward and that generates momentum to bring that dumbbell up overhead. Go ahead and switch sides, reload, reset. Now I like to bring my hand out in front because it helps me stay square. What we don't want is us to start leaning over to the same side as that dumbbell. Keep that core nice and engaged. And time. 
Good. From here, grab that dumbbell sister or brother, wide stance deadlifts. So, heels and toes out, dumbbells graze the thighs down to the shins, hips come back and then forward. Time starts now. So again, this is not a squat, this is a hinge from the hips. So I'll show you side profile. Soft knees, they are staying soft. It's not a huge bend. And all I'm doing is thinking about pressing my hips back and forward. And as soon as my hips don't go back anymore, that's when I stop. So I'm not going all the way down and then releasing my spine like this. Think mid shin right here. Okay, tall posture, tuck the chin, make sure that your body is in alignment at all times. And let's go one more and rest, good. From here, drop that dumbbell. We're gonna go into a front squat with a chest press. So dumbbell is loaded at the chest, feet shoulder distance. As you squat down, you're gonna press that dumbbell forward, come back, time starts now. Down and up. So, why this move is so difficult is because as the dumbbell moves away from us, we really have to connect to our core so that we don't like fall over, so that we stay balanced. Now, we should be seeing a really deep bend in our legs, right? So drop into that imaginary chair. As the dumbbell comes out, Keep a soft bend in the elbow so we don't actually want to straighten out all the way. You have three, two, one, and rest. Good. All right, grab that dumbbell sister, a brother. We're gonna go into hammer curls with a lateral raise. So, hammer curl here, lateral raise here. Time starts now. Now for the hammer curl, palms are facing in. For the lateral raise, come out to a T position. Try to relax the space between your shoulders and your ears. Keep the core tight. We don't want to hyperextend the elbow. Small bend. Make sure that you can see those dumbbells in your peripheral vision. So what are we working on? We're working on biceps and shoulders. You have three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're gonna go back to the very top, starting with that single arm full thruster. So one dumbbell loaded at the shoulders, feet shoulder distance apart, 22 seconds on one side, we take off in three, two, one, let's go. Now you might notice my heels pop up just a little bit as I come up, but they come straight down right after. That's gonna be very helpful for when you're really lifting some heavy weights. Go ahead, switch sides. Watch the knees, make sure they're not passing in front of the toes. You have three, two, one, rest. Good, wide stance, deadlift. So, feet slightly outside shoulder distance, heels and toes out, open up that chest. Three, two, one, let's go. Send those hips back, press the hips forward, squeeze the glutes. Now out of every single move, this is the move where you can really increase your weights if you have it. Make sure the dumbbells stay nice and close to the shins. They shouldn't be hanging out in front. And make sure you're breathing, of course. Makes it a lot harder if you hold your breath. Few more. Three, two, one, 
and rest. Good. All right, we're gonna go into your front squat with the chest press. So feet shoulder distance, dumbbell loaded at the chest. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's go. Now, whatever goal that you have for yourself this year, ask yourself, am I doing the actions that will help me get from where I am today to where I wanna be? Because you can have a goal, but you may not have an action plan to actually reach the goal. So are you doing the behaviors, the habits that are aligned with the goal that you have? Sometimes it's good to take that like personal assessment, figure out, am I showing up? Am I doing the things? Three, two, one, and rest. Or am I just thinking about my goals, hammer curl, lateral raise, but doing nothing about it, right? You can think about it all you want, but thinking about it doesn't get results. Three, two, one, let's go. You can take a staggered stance. Sometimes I like doing that. Now remember, your transformation will happen as a result of you taking daily action. It's not something that you do for one week and then stop. It's not something that you do for one month and stop. Think you gotta do this kind of forever. <laughs> you have to make it a lifestyle. Three, two, one, and rest. You have made it to a one minute break. Amazing job. Grab a quick sip of water, towel down. We are moving on to your next block. And your next block is mostly going to be on the floor. We actually probably just need one dumbbell only for everything that's gonna happen. Okay. So we're gonna be starting off with a dumbbell drag and push up. So the dumbbell is below my hands. I'm gonna place my hands in a push up position. I'll do this on the knees first. I'm gonna do my push up. The opposite hand grabs the dumbbell. So if the dumbbell's on the left side, my right hand is grabbing it, dragging it to the other side. I'm doing my push up and then the opposite hand grabs it and drags it to the other side. Here we go. We take off in three, Two, one, let's go. Drag it to the other side. And notice how my dumbbell is horizontal. That way I don't have to hit my wrists when I transfer it. Now if you feel strong, go ahead and do these push-ups on your toes. If you notice that your form is breaking, your hips come down or you can't go as low, you can always take that option. I actually love doing knee push-ups. It's not a sign of weakness. It feels really good to prioritize the range of motion. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, next we go into a concentration curl. So one knee lifted up, elbow glued to the inner thigh. Curl the dumbbell up, release. Three, two, one, let's go. Now we're gonna be here for 22 seconds or so and then we'll switch. So we're minimizing any momentum, any swinging. We're forcing the bicep to do all the work. Keep the core nice and tight, tall posture even though you're leaning to the side. And switch. Right here. You got 10 seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. Next up is a kneeling windmill. So my right leg is gonna come out. My right hand has the dumbbell. I'm gonna place it up overhead. I'm gonna reach this hand down to the floor, squeeze my abs to come back up. Three, two, 
one, let's go. Now this move is a little difficult to do if you've never done it before. So I do recommend you maybe try this body weight before attempting to hold a dumbbell. Keep a firm grip at all times and lift up from your abs. So pretend there's a string attached to your abs. Go ahead, switch sides. And a puppeteer is lifting your torso up from here. Extra challenge, eyes gaze up to the sky as you come down. You have three, two, one, and rest. All right, final exercise in this block is a single leg glute bridge. My right leg is up, my left foot is down. I'm gonna lift up and release. Three, two, one, time starts now. Now, I have this dumbbell on the left hip. Creates extra resistance. Think about driving into your heel to lift your hips up to the sky. Slowly come down one vertebrae at a time and go ahead and switch. Slow on the release. We're focusing on booty and back of the legs. Make sure the contraction comes from the glutes, not the back. The back should feel neutral. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. We're gonna go to the top, which starts off with your push-up to your dumbbell drag. Again, let's master the modified push-up before we going on our before we go on our toes. Three, two, one, let's go. Only until you have perfect form should you then be doing your push-ups. This is a great way to build your chest strength. Being able to move our body weight is essential, right? Being able to push yourself off the floor is essential. We have a free asset available to us. We do not need a gym to build muscle. You have three, two, one, rest. Good. Next up, concentration curl. Okay, so kneeling position. If your knees hurt in any way, you can place like a towel or a pillow underneath this leg. Three, two, one, let's go. And just as a note, like make sure that you are continuing to challenge yourself within the 45 seconds in each exercise. By the last 10 to 15 seconds, you should feel like you're struggling to maintain form. Go ahead and switch. If you feel like it's so doable the entire time, you won't create enough stimulation for your muscles to grow and change. Your goal should be to constantly and continually up level. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. We're gonna go into your kneeling windmill next. So let's have one leg out, same side as the dumbbell that lifts up to the sky. Three, two, one, let's go. Now notice how I'm placing my entire palm on the floor. If this is too much, you can also place like a book or like a yoga block and reach for that. Let's go ahead, switch. Don't let your arm get lazy. Is it still straight? Three, two, one, and rest. All right. Final exercise in block number two is your single leg glute bridge. So let's go ahead, lay down, lift that leg up, hand on the floor. Three, two, 
One, let's go. And let's go ahead and switch sides. Try to relax your upper body as much as you can. Couple more seconds. You have three, two, and one. Rest. Amazing job. One minute rest. Go ahead, grab a, grab a quick sip of water. All right, so you made it to block number three, which means we're gonna go back to the very top. We're gonna combine every single move that you already know and just do a final round. Back to back to back, again, 45, 15, starting with your single arm full thruster, and then we'll work our way down, okay? So this is your last chance to maybe challenge your weights, go a little bit heavier. If you challenge yourself too much, go a little bit lighter. Focus on form. Progress, not perfection. It's okay if you can't do everything. It's all about getting better and getting stronger each and every day. So we're gonna start with your single arm full thruster, 22 seconds-ish on one side, and then we go ahead and switch. All right, and then you're almost done, baby. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Watch the knees as well. You might find that like one knee starts to cave in. Just be careful of that. Make sure they're right in line with your toes. And switch. Let's go for it. Exhale on the press up. Three, two, one, and rest. Wide stance, deadlift. Grab that sister, that brother. Here we go, feet wide. Open up the chest. Core in, three, two, one, let's go. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Stop expecting for you to see results after a few days of consistent exercise. I know that was like something that I would do early on in my career. I would just work out five days, eat like a salad every single day for lunch and dinner, and then I wouldn't see the weight budge, and I was like, it's not working. No, it is working. You just haven't given it enough time for your body to respond. Change, real change takes a lot longer than you think. Three, two, one, and rest. We're gonna go into a front squat with that dumbbell chest press. So just remember, like, even if you're not seeing the physical results yet, I hope you're taking note of those mental and physiological results. Time starts now. Like, maybe you're sleeping better, or maybe you have less acne, I used to deal with a lot of acne. Maybe your skin, your complexion looks better. Maybe you've been waking up at 5 a.m. every single morning consistently, right? Like these are really big wins that you need to recognize and realize if that's progress. Don't just use the scale or some kind of number to determine whether or not you are on track. Sometimes it's just a feeling. Sometimes it's like those intangible results that really make all the difference. And time. We're gonna go into a hammer curl with your lateral raise. So feet narrow, palms facing in, elbows glued to the ribs. Three, two, one, let's go. Bring it up. I think a huge win for me this last year was just consistency. 
and integrity within myself. Meaning, if I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. That is a huge act of integrity. If you can keep your own promises, you feel like you can kick butt in anything in life. It builds your confidence within yourself. You build trust within yourself. Three, two, one, rest. We're gonna go into your dumbbell drag with a push up. So the next time you say you're gonna do something, do it. Do it. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Something that helps me a lot is having accountability. My fitness and wellness community membership empower you. Such an amazing resource to stay motivated, to stay accountable to your workouts, to your diet, getting a coach, joining like a four week challenge or program. Those are all ways that you can create more accountability in your lives. 10 seconds. The more accountability you have, three, two, one, the more success you're gonna experience. I know that from personal experience. We're gonna go into a concentration curl. I've done all of the things and they all work. Just kind of depends, time starts now, on what level of investment you need. I've noticed that when you pay, you pay attention. I've had the most amazing transformations in my life and my physical results when I pay for it. When I pay for a program, when I hire a coach, when I tell myself I'm gonna do something for a certain amount of time and I put money to it and attach that, switch sides, I find I'm way more consistent because you're on the hook, right? When you do that, you don't wanna waste your money. You wanna get your money's worth. Three, two, one, and rest. Kneeling windmill is next. That's a little note for those who love to do things that are just for free, right? YouTube workouts, they're just for free, but there's no accountability with it, right? Time starts. You don't have someone who's holding you to it. So you need to get yourself on the hook in some way. Pay to play. One more. And let's go ahead and switch. Here we go. Keep that arm nice and straight. Feel your abs. Really connect to what's working. Three, two, one, and a rest. And your last and final move is a single leg glute bridge. So let's bring it down. Here we go. One leg up, three, two, one, let's go. Try to lift up maybe half a centimeter higher than last time. Let's go one more and switch. Almost there, a couple more seconds and then you're done. You have three, two, one, and time. Awesome job, hug those knees in. Come on up, stand on up, and whenever you're ready, give yourself a pat on the back because you made it. Another 30 minute workout done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video and comment below and let me know how you're feeling right now. 
If you wanna double up your workout, you're more than welcome to check out this workout here. It is pretty awesome. And if you need more resources, like a quick start guide to help you get back on track with a grocery list, fitness workout rec recommendations, and so much more, please go get my free food and fitness quick start guide for women to help them jumpstart their journey. So that is in the description of this video. As always, claim your crown.